All right, g'day guys, welcome back to another video on the True Footy YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at my final ladder prediction for the 2021 season. Obviously, we've just ticked over just about halfway. We're at round 11, so if you take out the buys, we're halfway through the season. As a tradition, I and you know a lot, a lot of other people with channels, we do like to do a mid-season ladder prediction edition. But the format for today will be that I will be going through the Squiggle Ladder Predictor and predicting every game for the rest of the year right in front of you. It's always a more precise way of doing a ladder prediction because you actually can take into account fixtures and it'll also generate a little finals thing as well, which I'll do for you. If anyone wants to take part in using the predictor, you can go to predictor.squiggle.com.au and you can actually have a crack yourself as well. Of course, I'm recording this in the wake of a pretty big round 11, a couple of upsets, which has probably changed my rankings for a few teams, most notably my beloved West Coast Eagles. If you want to hear more about my thoughts on the Eagles, I did release a video a couple of days ago called Are the West Coast Eagles Cooked in AFL 2021? And we've also taken a specific look at round 12 in Just the Tips, which I released yesterday. Before I get into the video, I will shout out the sponsor of today's video, manscaped.com. You can get 20% off their awesome men's grooming products using the code TRUEFOOTY20. You get 20% off and free shipping. Go to manscaped.com, have a little browse of what they've got. They've obviously got the Lawnmower 3.0, which is their trimmer. They've got some, you know, boxer shorts. There's a ball deodorant and moisturizer. And I believe they've come out with a new cologne as well, which they're sending me very shortly. So go check all that out and you can use the code to get your discount. But without further ado, let's get into the squiggle predictor. Then I'll end with some finals and maybe predict the awards as well. All right, so we're kicking off with uh, round 12. Of course, I probably won't talk too much about these games. You can go to Just the Tips to see uh, in-depth thoughts about each game, but I'm just going to sort of rattle off and try and pick a general margin. If you've seen the video Just the Tips, you would know that I tipped the Brisbane Lions in an upset, so I'm going to go by seven points. St Kilda hosting Sydney on the form lines, you have to say the Swans are going to be the better team by about 12 points. Adelaide, no Brody Grundy this week for Collingwood, so I am going to say they continue their improved form uh, and win by about 12 points as well. And you can see on the right there, if you haven't used Squiggle, the ladder updates as we go along as well, so you can keep track of it. Dream time, this game is actually at Optus, so hopefully we'll be in attendance. I'm going to tip Richmond to uh, not upset, but there's a lot of heat around Essendon and rightfully so at the moment, but I think, S uh, I think Richmond will hold strong. Carlton versus West Coast is at the SCG, and you know that's a big factor in me tipping Carlton here because the Eagles haven't won there since 1999. Not in the best form. Injuries to Tim Kelly and Oscar Allen as well. I'll say Carlton win that by about 10 points. Fremantle then hosts the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs have never won at Optus Stadium, but they've probably never been this good and come to Optus Stadium. So I'm going to say they win that by 20 points. And that's the end of the first round. You can take a look at the ladder. Got uh, the Bulldogs climbing back into top spot on the basis of that. Uh, and we'll go over it. we'll go again for round 13. Port Adelaide at home. I think Geelong are a better team, but at home. Port will probably win a close game. Sydney Voy versus Hawthorne. Sydney are comfortably the better side at the moment, but the away team generally wins between these two sides. I'm still going to go with Swans. Fremantle hosting Gold Coast. Fremantle have proven themselves to be at least too hard to beat at home by Gold Coast, although I guess there's, there is potential for an upset there, but I'll say Fremantle by 23. St Kilda versus Adelaide. Ooh, that's a tough one. That is actually probably the first real doozy that I've had to really think about here. Surely the Saints salvage a bit of credibility and they get a win there. North Melbourne, there's upset potential at Bell Reeve because I think they're very hard to beat there, but GWS are a better side, they'll win that game. Melbourne will then dispose of Collingwood, you'd have to think. I'll call it 37 points. Oh, West Coast versus Richmond. Oh, a couple of weeks ago, I was really confident we'd win this game. I don't think so anymore. I think we'll lose that by about uh, 18 points, let's call it. Geelong versus the Dogs. At GMHBA, I don't think the Dogs quite can match them, which... Yeah, I don't know. I think I think the Cats will win that. Probably be a close game, but I'll say 22 points. Port Adelaide should have no trouble of disposing of Port... Sorry, Gold Coast in this game. Uh, then the Brisbane Lions should beat North Melbourne. She obviously just got clapped by Brisbane, but I still, I'm, still on the, I'm still on the train. They're still a good team. They'll win this by, yeah, four goals. Essendon should defeat Hawthorne, but this is the sort of game Essendon would drop, isn't it? I'll, I'll still keep Essendon. Oh, this is a great clash. Gee, Geelong slipped down to fifth based on what I've got here, and I'm still tempted to go the home side here. I'll say, I'll say Brisbane win this. Richmond then should beat St Kilda fairly easily. Oh, I'm going to tip North here. I think the Gold Coast are a better side, but Bell Reeve, I reckon North will lift. Collingwood hosting Fremantle. Fremantle should win. They should win. Melbourne, too good for Essendon. Port Adelaide should beat Sydney. There's a bit of upset stank about that, but I'll, uh, I'll say 17 points. Tipped a few close ones here. I should probably lift the margins a little bit. GWS should clap Hawthorne there. Let, let's give that one pretty one-sided. Well, the Eagles versus the Dogs. The Dogs are comfortably better. 
But Optus Stadium, we might lift. We might lift. I'll give us a chance, but I'll say the dogs to win that by 14. That means the Eagles would have lost five on the bounce. Does anyone really think that's going to happen? Could happen. I don't know. Hopefully I'm wrong about that. Carlton versus Adelaide. Ooh, Carlton should win that. They generally beat the teams you'd expect them to, with the exception of Collingwood earlier this year. Oh, Collingwood St. Kilda at the G. St. Kilda should win, right? They should win. Geelong will be, again, too hard to beat at uh, GMHBA. Richmond will beat Gold Coast. Uh, that's it. Carrara. Port shouldn't have too much trouble with Hawthorne there. Uh, at the MCG, I don't think GWS can beat Melbourne. I'll say they'll win that one by 31. Oh my god, is this going to be six in a row for the Eagles to lose? See, I don't think we'll lose six in a row, but it's hard to tip us individually in any of these games. So, yeah, no, there's no chance we win the SEG. Bulldogs should then clap North Melbourne. That should be about 60 points. Adelaide versus Brisbane. Brisbane will be too good. Fremantle, ooh, will they get the revenge in Carlton? They're a sort of team that I kind of like level with them in some ways. There's a lot of parallels to how these clubs are going. Carlton won the first one between these two sides by like 10 goals or something ridiculous. But in Perth, I think Fremantle will finally have their revenge. We'll call it an eight point thriller though. Wow, I just noticed Fremantle at ninth and West Coast at 12. Am I overreacting? I probably am. We'll probably pinch one of those games. Brisbane versus St. Kilda. Brisbane will win that by 30 points. Carlton versus Geelong. Poor, you'd think Geelong should make easy work. That has upset potential. Oh, look, on current form, Adelaide and Essendon will be a good game. I'll say Essendon, the home team, will win that. And then GWS should account for Gold Coast fairly easily. Fremantle then travel to Tasmania. This is a tough one because it's not a happy hunting ground for Fremantle, but gen generally over those meetings, Hawthorne have been the better side, but I think Fremantle have comfortably the better side now. So I'll sit. Tip them to win that. And then Richmond should easily beat Collingwood. Home team here will go 20 points for the Dogs. Port versus Melbourne. Oh, this will be a thriller. This is a good game. I'm tempted to tip Port here, actually. Home ground advantage. Melbourne have lost one at Adelaide. Statistically, they're probably going to lose four or five games. That might be the one. I'll tip Port by nine points. West Coast finally snap the losing streak. They'll flat track this one. They'll win it by 34. Collingwood versus Carlton. Ugh. Obviously, Collingwood can win. They won there earlier this year against the Carlton. But i uh, got a reward current form. I think Carlton are better. Gold Coast versus the Bulldogs at Metricon. Surely, surely the Dogs win that. They're 14-3. and three. Jeez, I love the Dogs. GWS versus Sydney. I'm going to say the Giants win this game, making it 2-0 in, uh, in Sydney derbies this year. Melbourne should account for Hawthorne. They should do. 40 points. Essendon will then beat North. So where have I got Essendon now? They're slipping up into 10th. Although they've played a game extra the West Coast. Richmond versus Brisbane. Brisbane are the better team. MCG though. Can't rely on Brisbane at the MCG. And this is around the time Richmond click into gear. I'm going to say Richmond 16 point win. Uh, Port Adelaide then should beat St Kilda. Gee look, Port are coming hard. They're third at the moment. Adelaide versus West Coast Eagles. Hmm. Look, I've been pretty anti-West Coast in this. I reckon we'll lift. I reckon we'll win that one. We generally do all right in Adelaide, generally. So, yeah, let's say the Eagles return to a bit of form with a win there. Fremantle versus Geelong. Ooh. Geelong should win. They, I, I went to the Fremantle-Geelong game last year where Geelong handed Fremantle's ass to them, but I think Fremantle generally play well against them. It'd be great to see Fremantle win, but Geelong in sixth there. This is a bit of a must win. I'll tip them. Carlton then should beat North Melbourne. 27 points. Essendon versus GWS. This will be a thriller. So it was a two-point margin the first time they played over in Sydney earlier this year. Went to the Giants' way. I think GWS is a better side. I'm going to say Essendon upset them by five points. Geelong versus Richmond. Oh, I'm going to say Richmond are clicking into gear and they'll get their revenge for their 10-goal loss earlier this year. Melbourne should beat Gold Coast, but I'll, I'll say a plucky Gold Coast gives them a run for their money. 14 points. Hawthorne versus Brisbane at the MCG. This is, again... This is a real good rehearsal for the Lions. Uh, they should be beating the Hawks at the MCG, but obviously there's no guarantees around that. I'll, I'll say Brisbane win. 13 points, though. It'll be a good game. Sydney versus Fremantle. Ooh, this is like a game where finals have, like, are on the line for Fremantle. If they lose this, they're probably out of the mix. But hard to back against Sydney. I'll say Sydney win by 12. Bulldogs should then... Uh, Eureka Stadium, that's Mars, if I'm not mistaken. They should beat Adelaide easily. Adelaide then flat track it against Collingwood. West Coast should then get a win. So the, the fixture's getting a little bit easier for West Coast. They're jumping back up to ninth spot there. Brisbane versus Gold Coast at the Gabba. They should win that quite easily. Slapped them a few weeks ago. Collingwood versus the Eagles. Oh, I've got Collingwood still on two wins. They're better than that. But I, I, we generally beat Collingwood in Melbourne. I'll give us the win. Essendon versus Sydney. Oh, that's a tough one. Are Essendon still going to be this good? 
by then. I'm not so sure. They got a good little rivalry going, these two teams. I'll say Sydney win that one. GWS versus Port Adelaide at in Canberra. Tough one. I've got Port at 15 and 3, so they've won a lot of games in the run. 50 50 game, I'll say GWS win. Melbourne, if they beat the Dogs at Marble, they'll beat them at the MCG. I'll say they win this one by 15. Dramatic way to reclaim top spot in round 20. North Melbourne versus Geelong. Geelong generally towel up North Melbourne, so. St Kilda versus Carlton. Pretty much only playing for pride at this time. Oh, St Kilda should win. I'll back in Carlton. Four points. It's hard to split those two teams. They're probably relatively even. Adelaide will uh, beat Hawthorne. Fremantle will lose to Richmond in Perth by about four goals. Carlton should then beat Gold Coast and then it cut in your park. No way GWS wins. Oh wait, no, they won there in 2019. Still, Geelong are a lot better at the moment. Hawthorne versus Collingwood. Oh, clash of the Titans here. I'll say Collingwood win. Richmond versus North Melbourne. North, uh, Richmond should win that. Sydney should beat St Kilda. Bulldogs should beat Essendon. But Adelaide should win the showdown. And Fremantle versus Brisbane. Oh, this could be a thriller. Fremantle could definitely give them a run for their money, but it'll be late in the season. Fremantle, do they run out seasons well? Not from memory. I'll say Brisbane win. West Coast versus Melbourne. Oh, I'd love to back us in here, but how can you? We could be a better side by then. I I'm not going to tip us, but I I we could win that. Brisbane versus Collingwood. They should win that pretty easily. Geelong should then collapse St Kilda. Gold Coast versus Essendon at Metricon. Oh, where are Gold Coast? I've got them in the bottom four. They're a better side than that. Essendon are probably also better than 9-11. Say Gold Coast for an upset. The break Essendon hearts. GWS versus Richmond, this is a tough game. I think GWS generally win when these two sides meet in, in uh, Sydney, so I'll back that in. Bulldogs will then beat Hawthorne. Gee, I haven't given Hawthorne a win since the <laughs> in this entire one. Melbourne versus Adelaide, they should win that. Getting a bit of revenge. Sydney will then beat North. Port Adelaide should beat Carlton, you'd think, in Adelaide. No way am I tipping Fremantle. No, nah, I think I think the Eagles will be too good by then. Uh, Brisbane will flog the Eagles in Brisbane. Carlton will... So I'm, I'm taking a look as well. If Carlton are in the mix for finals, could they win this? I think they could. I'm going to give them a one-point win. They, they can't make finals, but I'm going to give them a one-point win. Did Collingwood bob up and... Yeah. Let's go the upset. Look, I've talked up Essendon, but they don't run out seasons well. Let's say Collingwood get an upset to claim their fourth win of the season. Geelong will beat Melbourne. If it wasn't a GMHBR, we tip the other way. Richmond will then beat Hawthorne. Fremantle versus St Kilda. Ooh, again, playing for pride. None of these sides can make the finals. I'll say Fremantle win. Sydney versus Gold Coast. Gold Coast? They're, Sydney are kind of their bunnies, but again, only one of these sides are in the mix for finals. I'll say Sydney win. Bulldogs beat Port in Adelaide earlier this year. I expect they'll do the same thing if it's in Melbourne. Adelaide should beat North. And that, oh, that was the last game of the season. My mistake. So, there we go, guys. That is my predicted ladder. So, we've got the Bulldogs and Melbourne. No surprises there. Brisbane third. I think that's a fair reflection of the uh, the top three team. Port Adelaide sneak into the top four ahead of Geelong. That's surprising me a little. I, I feel like I rate Geelong slightly higher, but they're also a little inconsistent. But also, fixture should be taken into account. Port Adelaide's fixture must be, you know, not too bad. I think I've only got them losing one more game for the rest of the season. So, maybe that's a little bit generous. Richmond make it into sixth, still probably a flag chance. And then the two Sydney sides round out the eight. The Eagles miss out on the top eight. Maybe I'm being a little reactionary there. We'll see. Injuries uh, will have played their part. So if we get some players back, maybe you know, maybe we pinch a game against Richmond or Melbourne or whatever. So, But it's pleasing to see that I was pretty negative on the Eagles and we still only miss the eight by one win. So, so that leads us to some awesome finals. We got Bulldogs versus Port, probably at the MCG. You got Geelong versus GWS at probably the MCG, Richmond versus Sydney, probably the MCG, and then Melbourne versus Brisbane at the MCG. Pfft, the Bulldogs should win, but this is not a true home game. It's not a true home game. I'll go with the doggies. Geelong will, I'm comfortable, will beat the Giants in a final. Richmond versus Sydney. Sydney beat them by eight goals early this year, but it's finals now, and uh, Richmond are a different team. And then the being at the MCG, the Demons will win that game. So. There you go, that sets up two semi-finals. Uh, first of all, you've got the Dogs and Melbourne into home prelims. Port and Geelong and Brisbane versus Richmond. That is familiar. That was last year's, uh, both of those games were qualifying finals, I think. I'll back in the home team, Port, to make another prelim and Brisbane hosting Richmond. Oh boy, Brisbane. They're a different team these days. That means the two prelims are both again at the MCG. The Bulldogs will host the Lions and Port will play away to Melbourne rather at the MCG. 
Do the Lions upset the Dogs? I think the Lions could easily be the second best team in it, and they've missed out. They're, they're battle hardened now. They've played some finals. Mind you, so have, so have the Dogs. I'm going to go upset the Lions heroically dismiss the Dogs in a prelim and Melbourne get the job done against the power. So that leads to us to a Melbourne versus Brisbane grand final. So I guess we can probably look at some of the awards before I really get into this. Um, I'll say the rising stars, probably Nick Cox hasn't got a nomination yet, but when he does, he's probably in the most consistent rising star nominations or rising star candidate so far. So he's probably my shout. Um, and then Brownlow medal, Bonton Pally. He's having an elite season. He's probably the one I'm most confident will, will take it further. And I think a little more productive than Petrarch. I'm not saying he's clearly a better player, but he is probably my pick between them. So yeah, I'll say Bonson Pelly. Coleman, give it to Harry Mackay. His team finished 10th and stayed in the mix for finals. And even when they're not playing so hot, he's still kicking goals. So he'll win it from Tex Walker. And that leads us to the grand final. Brisbane Lions versus the D's at the MCG. Demons have been the best team all year. It's a home game for them, even though they're kind of listed as the away team here, but got to back the D's in. So. There you have it. I think the D's are probably going to win the flag. I'm not, obviously not putting the house on it, but you know, you just look at the most likely, the probabilities of it. And uh, that's how I have it. And yeah, a Lions versus Demons grand final would be awesome. And they play this week, so that would be very telling. So there you have it, guys. That is my predictions for the rest of the season. Again, this is more just a little bit of fun. I, if you average six or seven tips around, which is what I'm doing at the moment, that means that there's two to three games every week you'll get wrong. So the final ladder will be very different from my predicted ladder. I am absolutely sure of that. But I think a Lions versus Demons grand final is quite quite viable. If it's not the dogs, it's probably the Lions at this point of the season. And the Demons have just been fantastic. They're strong across all lines. They've got all Australians all over the field. And um, yeah, they're just a great team. And what a, what a great story it would be if they can pull that off under Simon Goodwin. So there you have it, guys. Let me know in the comments what you thought of my predictions. I'm sure you will slaughter me for them, but I welcome it. It's all a bit of fun. Let me know what's your predicted grand final and your predicted premier as well, as well as some of the awards. It's always good fun too. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.